In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. So we're back on the roof. Maybe we never left. I don't know, am I wearing the same shirt? I think so. So I may never have left the roof, but that was yesterday when I got everything set up. Now what I'm gonna do is come back with my four inch Eternabon tape. This stuff is amazing. It sticks to everything, including itself, so be careful with that. Um, I'm gonna use a straight edge to cut. So pretty easy, straight edge, whatever you wanna call it. Box cutter. And a board, because when I'm cutting this, I wanna cut on a board and not on the roof, because I'm trying to fix the roof. Why would I cut holes into the roof? So anyway, um, pretty simple task with these three um, components. And I'm going to show you how the self-leveling um, die core actually worked out. So I put it on in big globs because I wanted to add more. In this case, it's better to have more, cover up everything that could ever possibly have a seam or a crack or a leak. And then gravity just kind of lets the sealant spread around and now it has covered pretty much everywhere I wanted it to cover. And that was job number one. Job number two is to put this tape over and provide an extra uh, layer of protection. Job number three is when we paint on the silicone top for the roof and we seal it so then we'll have no worries at all about the roof. Right now I'm not worried, but I am concerned because the more we worked on the roof yesterday, the more we saw how fortunate we are that there weren't bigger tears or more tears. Uh, or, or already existing water leaks. So we caught this RV at the perfect time. And uh, of course, all water damage is repairable. It's just not fun to deal with. When working with Eternabon, something to keep in mind is it is incredibly, incredibly sticky. That's why it's the eternal bond. Um, it's probably not forever and ever, amen. But um, it is incredibly sticky. And so you wanna go slow and steady and just peel it back a little bit at a time and kind of press in uh, as you go. Um, you can use a credit card or something like that to kind of slide it in place. Um, but I just use my fingers. It's really malleable and it's going on the roof. that has got a nice um, soft surface so I can just kind of press it in with my fingers and run my fingers along any seams and get it to hold pretty well. Um, but definitely go slow. Don't peel off all the backing for a 10 foot strip because you're going to end up tangled up in it and then you're, you're in trouble. So up here in the front corner on the driver's side, and on the passenger side where the, um, the front part meets the roof and the side. It's really, um, I don't want to say messed up, but it's a jumbled mess over there. So I want to make sure I'm going to add an extra little bit of tape in the corner to make sure that we eliminate, again, this is overdoing it in some regards, but I want to make sure that we're not having any chance of water leaking through this particular seam because this is a point where all three uh, sides meet up the front the roof and the side um, and so we want to make sure that this is definitely sealed really well so I'm going to put a four inch strip across the just the front section and then we got two inch Eternabon that we're going to run down the length of the sides but at least with this I can get it started um, and make sure that it's really well covered up in this particular area which is a weak point this was actually on the driver's side is where we actually already had a little nick in the um in the rubber roof and we're fortunate that not a lot of water if any really got in there so we're going to go ahead again and, and seal it up double extra special duty chris style um, so it may not look fantastic but it's going to do the trick and before i get to the back um, i want to get all of the places where i took the railing out there's there were two screw holes about an inch and a half away from each other so i'm going to cut these little patches of the four inch tape and put them down over each of the holes. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine of them. It's not gonna take a whole lot to do. This is a relatively simple process. Just a little patch. So 
So while I was at it, um, patching up where the old um, railing used to be, I went ahead and cut some strips to put around the, um, the ladder where it's mounted into the roof. So I took the four inch, cut a little piece like I had for the other patches and then cut that in half. Um, because it's circular, I wasn't gonna get all technical and try to drill a hole through this stuff. It's so sticky um, and it wouldn't necessarily match up. So I just laid a couple strips across there. Again, we're gonna paint everything with silicone next week or so, hopefully next week. Um, but in the meantime, this is gonna do a phenomenal job for what I need it to do. I've gone ahead and put the Eternabond down on the easy side, which is the driver's side. The passenger side has yawning, so that's gonna take a little bit of effort. I'll use a two inch Eternabond to do the long stretch along the driver's side. I was able to do it in one really long, careful stretch where I peeled off about a foot and then I laid it down really carefully along the edge and folded it over on the top and then laid down another foot and just slowly kept peeling the plastic away on the back of it. And I was able to get the whole 20, about 25 foot run done on the driver's side. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the passenger side next and that has our awning on it. So with the awning, it may get a little bit um, complicated depending on if I wanna take the screws out and the bolts that are holding the awning to the roof. I'm not really sure the, the best job I should do would be to quickly loosen those bolts, run the Eternabond tape where the bolts will then screw back into. Um, but part of me is thinking that's gonna be a lot of work and I don't know how to prop up the awning right now. So um, we'll see what I can work out. I may go tool around with that before I put on camera. I know you'd rather see me like do something stupid and break our whole awning because everybody loves drama, but I can't afford to break my awning right now or my roof or anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tinker around with that, see if I can figure it out. All the edges of the RV are taped on the roof. I feel really good about that, really excited. All the appliances are taped as well. I got one vent fan cover in the front that I'm gonna need to be a little creative with. Gotta go to Lowe's, get the little spacers I'm gonna use. Otherwise, the roof is in really good shape um, for painting to come next. Since we have all the tools out to be working on the side of the camper, we're gonna go ahead and take the old door catches off. This is a new one. We have a lot more doors than we had in our old camper. So we're gonna go around and we're gonna put new catches on there, which means we're gonna take the old ones off and then we're gonna put butyl tape on the back side, put new white screws through there. Boom, 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 shouldn't be too difficult. Come in here, let's see, they have three different types of screws with three different types of heads. It's usually the case. So. Gimme, gimme. Really? That was a machine. Your butt hole. My butt hole is a machine. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's gonna peel off. Ooh. And you can see the old butyl. That's good. Butyl is your friend. <laughs> Keeps water out. Keeps water out.
I got one more trick in me for the day, and that is going to be to seal around the windows like I did here on the, the rear window. I'm gonna seal the other windows. I've also got to go up and get the corner sections in the back, and I'm going to be using ProFlex RV sealant. This stuff is pretty awesome. It is not self-leveling, so it's not like the Dicor um, lap sealant. This stuff, though, you can direct where you want it to go using your fingers. So you fill up some Dawn detergent and a little container, and then just dip your fingers in that as you go. Don't have to be soaking wet, but um, this stuff is great for the vertical surfaces, also around windows. Again, the Dicor lap sealant's great on uh, areas where gravity will smooth it out. So on, um, on roofs, it's fantastic. But this stuff is great for all the other seams around the RV. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of these. I don't know how long I'm gonna take, um, but I'll show you how it works. And then I'm gonna get this job done and call it a day. Well, we got a lot done today. We completely resealed the roof um, with the Turnabon tape uh, to get ready to put the Henry's Tropical on. And uh, unfortunately, Chris fell off and uh, he's no longer with us. So I'm about to go pick up my uh, $500,000 life insurance check. So maybe I'll sell this thing and buy a nicer RV. <laughs> Wait a minute. Chris. <laughs> Lindsay's being funny. You have to like this video now because Lindsay's being funny. <laughs> Thanks for taking time to watch this video. If you appreciate it, if you learned something, if you had a great time like we did, I'm drenched in stinky sweat. That's how much fun I had. I don't even know. Can you see Chris? Cause I'm holding the camera right now. <laughs> if you haven't already done so, know. Please press the like button on this video, subscribe to our channel, tell your friends about us, and uh, you know, learn more stuff about how to not fall off of roofs. Something like that. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Felicia, you still out there? Hey, Felicia. Bye. <laughs>